Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me, Goblin Q3 of the weekly contest 301 Move Pieces to Obtain a String. Hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this problem. But basically, it's a simulation problem. And the simulation is kind of almost like a greedy way, right? Basically, you let the gravity kind of drag it to see if it's possible. And as long as it's possible, then it's good. And, and what I mean by that is that uh, for example, here, we just one at a time, almost like a two-pointers algorithm, right? So then, he, let, let me just do this visualization for you, um, and then we can look at the code real quick. And firstly, we, we make sure that the, the counts are the same, because otherwise, that just can't happen, right? So then here, the idea for, for um, the idea here is that we just keep track of pointers. And the point is, uh, let's, just, let's just do L, right? Let's say we, we look at this this uh, L, then here we go to the to the right until we find an L that we can match, and then basically we just keep on going, um, and then for the, and then we do the same thing for all. So here we go start from the right, so this one matches this one, and then we go move to the left. This one matches this one, and we're good. And then and we just have to check both cases. How the only case that where it is not possible is that. When you go to the left, as you scroll, you see an L. Because that means that that L is going to block you, and as a result, there's no way to do it. Um, I was thinking about some other greedy ways of doing it, but that, this is, that's basically it. Because um, I think the other, um, the example 3 is a good case where like you can't just do anything. Like I don't know that there's an easy way to do um, uh, a normalization because of this, because you know, you can't you can't move target is the idea. So you have you always have to start from from a cell and then move to the left. Um, and and if you check that the number of L and R's are the same, then you know that you're not skipping anyone and they all match one to one. So so yeah, um, going over the code is pretty much it. Um, I do it once for the left of uh, the L's. Um, so here, like I said, is two pointers. Um, here I move the pointer to the current cell, meaning that. If there's anything in between, we just skip it, and then I keep on going to the right to find the the matching L. If there's an R, then we we return false. Otherwise, we keep going. If if this is greater than N, then we return false, meaning that we didn't find one um, for some reason, meaning that you probably skipped it here, to be honest. Um, and then if you do, if it is at the L, then we just move on to the right so that consuming this, and then we continue. you. Otherwise. That means I, I don't know what this would be, but it just would return false. So I think this is actually should be right other than this case. But but I just put it just in case. And then we do the same thing for all, basically just string them together and kind of move them. And that's pretty much it. This is the same idea except for we go to the other direction. I probably could have wrote this in a function and then like reversed it or something like that. But um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I have. This is a linear time algorithm and a linear space, oh sorry, linear time constant space because we don't really use any space, we just use i and j, a two-pointer algorithm, and you could kind of prove to yourself that this is correct. So yeah, um, cool. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. Okay, this is a little sloppy on that one. But. Start and target, okay. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Huh, okay, let's see. Well, someone already got it. Uh. This is kind of tricky, isn't it? Do this. 
it is just simulation, but almost like a gravity kind of way. But do it in a slick way. It's not hard, I just have to do it, focus and focus on the issues. Uh, they have the same length, they do have the same length. I'll do the same. Then we can do increment by one. If we start off chain that's what I think I wanna do. was true. Wait, what? I messed up the thing. Target. Start. Let's start. Okay. Maybe so. Target is is a zero. J starts at zero. And now J is equal to, oh, I see. Wow, that is yikes. Yeah, okay. Because we didn't match one yet. Okay. Okay. Not 100% confident, but okay. Better, better lucky than good. Yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about these problems. Need your love, need your support. This is a, a tough week for contest for me. So eh. anyway, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.